Quinta Brunson demanded better working conditions and higher pay for teachers as shortages continue across the country. I'm Dante Ramos, and this is MTV News Need to Know. Over the weekend, Abbott Elementary star and creator Quinta Brunson hosted Saturday Night Live. During her monologue, she shouted out her mom, who taught in the Philadelphia public school system for 40 years. She also took the opportunity to talk about some of the difficulties teachers face on the job and noted that they deserve much higher salaries, especially after the pandemic. Abbott Elementary has racked up three Emmy Awards and brought new life to the network sitcom. It highlights very real issues that public teachers face, like teachers using their own money for supplies, combining classrooms, and much more. In the pilot episode, veteran teacher Barbara, played by Cheryl Lee Ralph, tells a room full of frustrated educators on the brink of quitting that there are more turnovers here than a bakery. Philadelphia, where Abbott is based, is in the middle of a teacher shortage crisis. This is something that is plaguing schools across the country. As teachers decided not to return for the 2022 into 2023 school year at unprecedented rates. Chalkbeat, a news site that covers education in America, found that last year, more Washington State teachers left the classroom than at any point in the last 30 years. Maryland and Louisiana lost more teachers in 2022 than any year in a decade. Meanwhile, North Carolina saw a trend of more teachers leaving in the middle of the school year. And the U.S. Department of Education found that for this current school year, Michigan had the most teacher shortages in math, science, world languages, health and physical fitness, art and music, language arts, English as a second language, special education, social studies and career and technical education. So basically, it's all of the subjects. Many have left as a result of pandemic era stresses. There were ever-changing teaching methods from in-person to virtual. Workloads increased and it's been widely reported that kids became unruly due to trauma and other factors. Also, partisan politics are seeping into classrooms. Book bans have been on the rise. Last year, bans occurred in 138 school districts in 32 states, affecting over 4 million students. Most banned books tackled LGBTQ themes or had protagonists of color. In some states, conservatives are attempting to block this subject matter in other ways, like sensationalizing critical race theory and suppressing black history curriculums. Since 2020, teachers have reported feeling high levels of anxiety, depression, and burnout. All this added stress to a job with a measly salary? I think not. Earnings vary for teachers state to state, but on average, they make almost 20% less than professionals who have similar education and experience levels. You can see why so many educators are jumping ship. New Jersey high school teacher and activist Nicholas Ferroni spoke with MTV News about some of the ways students are suffering as a result. Real learning loss is a student having a teacher who was so overwhelmed because their school is short, so they had to combine classes. So now the teacher has 30, 40, or 50 kids in a class. Real learning loss is a student not having a teacher, so they have to have substitutes the whole year because they can't find someone to fill that position. Real learning loss is a student not having a teacher at all. And for so many of us, including myself, teaching is our dream job. So what does it say? that people are leaving their dream job because it's become so unbearable. As more teachers walk away from their jobs and fewer college students choose to pursue teaching as a career, Congress has agreed that this issue needs to be addressed. As politicians bicker about how to do this, research shows a direct correlation between teachers' salaries and student performance. That's why last month, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders introduced the Pay Teachers Act, which aims to raise the minimum salary to 60,000. When it comes to supporting teachers and students, I believe Quinta Brunson said it best at the end of her SNL monologue. Please remember how important teachers are, acknowledge the work they do every day, and for the love of God, pay them the money they deserve. I'm Dante Ramos, and that's what you need to know.